up everybody it's your boy Lankway Warrior come out and I am back with another video and today I am going to be reading from this book right here my little sister bought me and the chapter I am going to be reading is called Faith in Our Interaction let me explain the past to James thinking in a modern day context imagine a husband and wife from Boston Die-hard New England Patriots fans coming to Indianapolis to tour the Colts complex. Including all practice foods, coaches, offices, and meeting rooms. I can assure you that the visitors will have a great time because the Colts have great facilities staffed by even greater people. And let's say that when the people, we'll say that when the couple walks out, they declare a newfound appreciation and allegiance to the cults based on how moved they were by the experience. I am a bit biased, but I can see that as a very understandable reaction. The couple hearts home and lands at Logan International Airport in Boston. And as they are walking past the gift shop, the husband sees a Patriots jacket, you know. He says, my Patriots jacket still has a mustard stain from last year that I can't get out. It's time to replace it. And so he buys another jacket while his wife calls to renew their subscription to New England Patriots Daily News. That they have a great visit and, and you're not the sure. I suppose, was it life-changing? Did they truly bring the cults into the core of their being? Like based on their options when they returned home, it doesn't seem so. In his letter, James points out that our works shine a light on our faith, leading us to impart the world around us and possibly leading others to a relationship with Christ. But we can't earn our way into heaven with any amount of good works. The Apostle Paul makes that clear to us in his letter to the church of Ephesus when he says, God saved you by his grace when you believed and you can't take credit for this. It is a gift from God. Ephesians 2nd chapter 8 verse. Grace is free but all behavior demonstrates the true condition of our hearts and whether or not we really made a decision with the core of our hearts to accept that free gift. What about you? Do you think of faith and works as two separate things? Saving faith results in actions that emulate God, the one who gives good gifts.